So, uh, so welcome. Thank you. And kindly, let's have uh, tell us your name. Just your name. My name is Dr. Esther Zara Muori. Is that connected? It's okay. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, Dr. Esther, uh, welcome. Uh, this is a committee on administration, public service, and ICT. And uh, we expect that you are the nominee uh, that we were expecting. The procedure will be you will be administered with oath and oath, and then we will direct you what to do. And as you take the oath, kindly, let's have your documents, your originals plus your ID, kindly. I, Esther Zara Muria, swear by Almighty God that the information I shall give before this committee of the county assembly shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So thank you. We will then introduce ourselves so that uh, we are not strangers also to you because we already know who you are. My name is Nzangi Philip, uh, chairman to the committee. My name is Daniel Gidinji, vice chair to the committee. My name is Mushangi Joki, member to the committee. Ibrahim Swale, member. Agnes Wanjiro, a member of this committee. Bana Basijama, a friend of the committee. Susan, friend committee. Susan Mwende, a friend to the committee. Teddy Mbuchi, a member of this committee. Bonfis Mudomi Reri, Director Legal Services at the County Assembly. Agnes Musioki, Legal Council. Stephen Nzioka, Committee Clerk. Thank you. And we have several other officers. We have our communications team and the Sergeant at Arms that are taking care of us and also the Hansard. Uh, they are also with us. So, uh, Dr. Esther, there is a questionnaire that uh, you filled at the County Assembly. Right? Yes. You have a copy with you? No, I don't. Sorry. Right. Clerk, kindly provide a copy to her. Thank you, Chair. So confirm that uh, the copy you've been given is a copy of the document you filled. I do, Chair. Thank you. So I, in two, three minutes, kindly take us through that document. Okay, Mr. Chairman, like already stated, my name is Dr. Esther Zara Muoria. I applied for the position of County Secretary and Head of uh, Public Service. I am a female born on the 4th of March 1965. I am married and my, phone, my uh, mobile phone number is 072-846353. And my email address is imwaria at yahoo.com. My ID number is 
I am a Kenyan and my postal address is a PO Box 464901 002 Thika. I am fluent in English, Kiswahili, and Kiembu. Educationally, Mr. Chairman, I hold a PhD in Human Resource Management from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Mr. Chairman, I also hold a master's, uh, Master of Arts degree in Development Studies from the University of Nairobi and a BA in Sociology from the same university. I also went to Kangaroo School for my A-levels and for my O-levels, I was at Kenny Girls High School. Then for my primary school, I was at Shamanda Primary School. Sorry, Mr. Chair, I had not written that. For employment, I am currently the Registrar Academic Affairs at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Before then, I was at the Ministry of Home Affairs as a senior probation officer. Mr. Chairman, I don't have any honors awards, but I am a member of the Institute of Human Resource Management, member number 010460. Mr. Chairman, I have various publications uh, seven of them, Chair, and those are listed on my CV. One of them is my doctorate thesis titled uh, Strategies Adopted by Women to Accede to Leadership in the Public Sector in Kenya. That was in August 2013. Mr. Chairman, I have also published another article education and training as success strategies employed by women to accede to leadership. Then Mr. Chairman, I've also published linking acceding uh, of women to leadership with consciousness and neuroticism. In, and that I published in the International Journal of Business Management and Administration. Mr. Chairman, I have also published Community Involvement in Public Security Improvement in the Journal of Human Resource and Improvement Entrepreneurship Development. Then after that, Mr. Chairman, I've also published a, t a title, An Analysis of the Effects of Corporate Government uh, International in the International Journal of Business on Performance of commercial state corporations and public management. I've also published the effect of CEO duality to institutional performance of Kenya state corporation analysis, an analysis of the contribution and, and an analysis of contribution of communication and information sharing to high performance of the banking sector in Kenya. Mr. Chairman, those are my publications. Uh, number 21, Mr. Chairman, uh, list the chronology of any public offices you have held in the current tree. None, Mr. Chair. And, and 21B is a no, C is a no, and D is a no. 22, Mr. Chairman, is a no. 23, outside commitments, none. Sources of income, Mr. Chairman, I have said that I have a salary at Jobo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, and I also have a rental income totaling to around about 500,000 a month. Tax status, I am compliant, Mr. Chairman. I have said my net worth is about 218 million. And Mr. Chairman, like I've already said, as a family, we own three blocks of rental buildings. 
uh, where Mr. Chairman, we, we call, we, which is worth about 200 million. Mr. Chairman, I own three cars that are uh, the, uh, of the worth of about 10 million. And then, Mr. Chairman, I have about 15 as a family, 15, uh, no, 22 acres of land on which we are growing avocado, which is again worth about 15 million. Mr. Chairman, I do not have any potential conflict of interest. Uh, and then pro bono work. Mr. Chairman, I have educated several children at university level and currently I have two ongoing at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. I have two girls that I am educating currently at Kearney Girls High School. Uh, and Mr. Chairman, I also forgot to record that I have also two children, a boy and a girl at, um, I keep forgetting, Mogoe Day Primary School that I'm educating. And Mr. Chairman, I also have one girl at Viulia Girls High School in Machakos that I am educating. And Mr. Chairman, I also stated that I give a lot to the poor and to churches as requested on a continuous basis. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I've not been charged in a court of law. I've not been adversely mentioned in any investigations. And I have no objection to any inquiries made on me. And my referees are as listed there. The first one is a Professor Mimbo Imbuga. She's, she, was my, she, she was, she's my former VC at Jomo Kenyatta. Then Professor Waitito Geshohe of Jomo Kenyatta also, who was my chief supervisor at PhD level, and Dr. Winnie Mwangi of the University of Nairobi, and currently the CEC lands Muranga County. Mr. Chairman. So thank you, uh, Dr. Ari. I will then allow uh, members to ask you a few questions. Then from there, we give further direction. Uh, Dr. Esther, would you mention your priority areas in EMBO and list at least five of them? Mr. Chairman. Priority areas of interest. I will also be interested in you mentioning something about you applied for the position of county secretary yourself, and it was your own interest to to apply for the same position. I believe so. Or is it the governor that requested you to become her CS? No, I applied. You applied out of your own interest, right? Yes. Now tell us what motivated you to apply for that position. Good afternoon, Dr. Congratulations to your nomination. Um, my question first, I would like to push you back to bulletin 27 of your of your own declaration yeah? you say there's a non potential conflict of interest number 27 you see it so you confirm there is no potential conflict of interest okay this is a house of records and committee of records. Currently, you are the registrar of uh, Jomo Kenyatta University. So that could pose a potential conflict of interest if you are approved by this committee. And in that note, then, we want to probably 
uh, elaborate to this committee what could be your input as a CS in this county looking at probably the five years and more so what systems will you put in place to ensure a seamless energy between the executive that you represent and the county assembly and probably you can also give us like a what in your 100, day, 100 days in office could look like. Just paint a picture for us. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, congratulations, Dr. Terry. Uh, please uh, tell us the roles of the county secretary. Confirm also to us whether you are corrupt or not. Dr. also tell us uh, it's in the public domain. Just uh, you had applied for this position of the county secretary. This also in the public domain that you also applied for a national position where I believe, if I'm not wrong, that you went for interviews. Uh, looking at the two and uh, looking at your CV, which is very rich, full of experience, where is your heart if the two positions are approved today? Will you choose to be a county secretary or the PS in this country? The last question. Uh, just like uh, it's been said, under conflict of interests, you are a, a daughter of this land called Embu County. It was well noted that you were also very close to the governor during the campaigns. Please tell us that you will apply your knowledge and experience to serve the people of Embu and you will not be coming to serve the appointing authority. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon, Madam Esther, and congratulations. Um, my question is uh, simple. Number one, there are several corruption allegations in this county government. How do you intend to deal with them? Question number two, should you succeed, you are going to be the hand of the public service. Of Embo County. How do you intend to handle matters internship? Number three, you are the second most uh, advisor to our governor, the governor Honorable Sicily Mbaride. Embo is on its knees, matters revenue, both leakages and collections. How do you intend to take care of that, being the, uh, the senior most advisor to the governor? The other question is matters wage bill. We know that Embu is suffering a bloating wage bill. We know that Embu County inherited municipal council workers because it was actually the hand of Eastern Province, if I remember, before we came to devolution. How do you intend to curb the wage bill in this county? Thank you. Abu Terry. Thank you, Chair. Okay, Madam Esther. 
how will you handle the issue of protein wage bill and the issue of unemployment in our county? But as the end of public service, what policy decision do you intend to implement to ensure efficient service delivery to the people of Embo County? Uh, thank you. I'll also ask you a few before I ask other members to ask questions. Uh, Dr. on your ID, your name reads Esther Kavango. On your academic certificates, the name is Esther T. Kavango, right? Then on your PhD certificate, the name is Esther the Aram Warrior. Kindly explain whether those three persons are the same person. There is also an affidavit on your documents commissioned by John Moria Kungu that has not been signed by you. Kindly explain why that is not signed. Maybe you could you could show her that document, then you you bring back the documents. Because I, I saw some uh, it's like she's not sure whether she has signed or not. I saw some uh, expression on the face. Right? Yeah, that's the document I'm talking about. Uh, you have provided to this committee a police clearance certificate day 10th, 10th of May 2021. Right? That is already expired. We may need to e understand why. Your Credit Reference Bureau certificate is not there. So, clearly, I would also want to understand a few of those things. Members, Cure, make us. Sorry, I am well informed that it is the original that is missing for the CRB certificate. Not that it's not there, but this original has not been submitted. Honorable Jama, any question? Good, Good afternoon, Dr. Uh, as was submission number 28, I have seen you are generous because you have assisted people to to university, secondary, but most of them are ladies, girls. What about you? Don't have heart for boy child, lady. Thank you. Okay, I was just checking on your documents and I'm told uh, the police certificate is also a photocopy. That's why we are even saying that it's expired. The original is not here with us. Uh, maybe, Honorable Susan, you have another question? You're okay? Susan, the other Susan, you know we have two Susans. Hello, Esther. Congratulations. So I have like four questions for you. On your questionnaire, bullet number 10, you've not indicated your personal identification number. Then bullet number 24, you've listed your required salary, farming, research. I, don't, I do not understand. Is it 500,000 plus the rental income? Then bullet number 26, it's on record 
you've put your net worth as 218 million but while you're explaining or rather dispensing you said you your family owns a block worth 200 million cars 10 million and 22 acres of land at 15 million that's about 225 million maybe you could explain on that then to my other question what do you intend to achieve in the next five years given the position as the CS the last one what measures will you take on performance contract by non-performing staff or rather the disciplinary action that you will take on non-performing staffs well, thank you Susan and maybe on the question she has just asked about uh, that is bullet number 24 on your salary farming and research plus rental income uh, kindly make it clear to us whether it is per month or per annum because the 500,000 is not clear uh, as at when. Bullet number 20 on your questionnaire. I hope you are not taking it so fast. Yes, Chairman. I was just about to ask you to, to, to kindly restate what you, you said. Yes, yes in sir. bullet number 24, you have stated that uh, you are expecting a salary from JQuart, farming and research, right, plus rental income. And she has, she has to be you to make clear whether it is the entire salary plus farming plus rental income that is totaling to 500,000. And I'm putting Kenya shillings, right? And I'm putting an extra uh, question on the same. Is this 500,000 per month or is it per annum? It's now clear. Then number 20 of the paragraph 20 of the same questionnaire on the published writings you have submitted to this committee that you have published seven uh, pu so, so, what would you call them seven articles right publications and uh, you were required to supply four copies and you have indicated somewhere that all the reports and policies are held by the university there's something you've indicated on the questionnaire like that. What number, Chairman? Number 20. Published writings. Right? Is it the, publish, the, the publications that are held by the university or is it other reports and policies? And if all your publications are heard by the university. Why? If it is not them, then what are these other reports and policies that you are talking about? Then, um, you are aware that you are on, on, on record, right? You are also aware that uh, we, you are on oath. You took an oath. And it is legal to lie under oath, right? You're aware? And maybe just to inform you that we are also live on our social media page. So our members of the public are watching on you, right? And you have just lied to us, to this committee, that in bullet number, number what? Number, number 17 that you have no honors or awards that is what you have stated there and even orally is stated the same but in your resume the one that you submitted to the county assembly you have awards awarded certificate of appreciation that is what is on your resume awarded certificate of appreciation by ACK St. Peter's so you do not consider on the questionnaire, you do not consider those awards. But on your resume, you consider those as awards. You kindly explain to us why that is so. I can now allow you to respond to those ones. Just in case you have others, we'll engage. 
and maybe for purposes of information members, the, the police certificate is available. It is my secretary that had not seen it, though it is still a copy. The, the original one is not available to us, but at least we have it. Proceed. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the first question was on the, my priority areas in EMBU, five of them. And I'll begin by stating that one of my priority areas in EMBU is health, because health affects all of us. Health is about myself, it's about my mother, it's about my brothers, it's about everybody. I, I am actively aware that the health status in Embu is not good at all. Uh, I know that the governor has just brought in consignments of medicine uh, recently, which was not there. That I am totally in agreement and uh, in, 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 in support of her to bring up back the health status uh, as it should be in Embu because it is a priority for all of us. So for me too, health is of great priority. Secondly uh, is education. Because I come from an education background, I would like to see education in Embu, not just what the county is taking care of, that is the ECD, ECDs, the, the basic education, but all levels of education, uh, Mr. Chairman, I am very pertinent about education, and some of the people that, of the children that I have stated I am supporting, I'm supporting them because I want them to be in school. Because for me, education is everything. Mr. Chairman, uh, agriculture is also of uh, priority to me because I've grown up and gone to school and my fee was paid from coffee. So Mr. Chairman, I would like to see agriculture also at the, the topmost and also uh, a value addition to the crops that we are coming up with. I have seen a lot of mango, a lot of, a lot of avocado going to waste because we, we do not have good marketing of the same or value addition. So Mr. Chairman, agriculture and value addition of our crops is of priority to me. And Mr. Chairman, I would also want to see us come up with uh, tourism and tourism destinations in Embu. Why? Because I know tourism will be uh, one area that will be able to earn us a lot of the much needed uh, income. And therefore, the areas that we have not been able to tap, like sports, we do not have a lot of sports, sports grounding in Embu. We do not, we have not exhausted, we have a lot of hills, we have, we have forests in Embu, we have a very good um, uh, reserve in Moya, which we can upskill and be able to tap a lot of tourist, tourists in Embu, which will give us the much needed economy. Mr. Chairman, those would be among my priority areas that I would like to see coming to, uh, to, to a high level in Embu County. Uh, Mr. Chairman, question number two was, what motivated me to apply for a position of a county secretary? What I have been doing in the last about 10 years at the university is very similar to what a, a, a county secretary is supposed to be doing. Mr. Chairman, I have been secretary to the university senate where I have been responsible for taking minutes, organizing the secretariat of the university senate. So I have staff taking minutes. And Mr. Chairman, it is my office that is responsible for communicating all decisions made at senate. Mr. Chairman, I am also a member of the university management board. And from the academic division, I, take, I carry with me all decisions made at the university management board for the academic division. So Mr. Chairman, again, from the University Management Board, 
I communicate to all uh, bodies responsible uh, from the University Management Board as well. So the, the county secretary position is, is very similar to what I did at the university. And again, Mr. Chairman, I have had all the registrars, deputy registrars, assistant registrars working in the academic division working under me. And Mr. Chairman, I oversee their performance. I ensure that their performance contracting is signed and evaluated. So again, Mr. Chairman, that is very similar to what I might have to be doing as the charge of the public uh, service in Embu County. So for me, when I looked at the responsibilities of the county secretary, it was exciting for me because it is very similar to what I have been doing. Uh, conflict of interest, Mr. Chairman, currently I am on leave of absence for one year from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. So Mr. Chairman, should I be appointed as the county secretary? Government institutions are mandated to extend the, 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 the length of appointment to the former institution. So Mr. Chairman, I am now on one year leave of absence, but should I be appointed the county secretary, Jomo Kenyatta University will automatically give me leave of absence equivalent to my appointment in Embu County. So Mr. Chairman, by the time that one year is, is, is over, it will overlap with the appointment in Embu County. So there will be no conflict of interest. Mr. Chairman, some, I was also asked what my input in the county will be and my synergy between the county secretary's office and the county assembly. Mr. Chairman, I've already stated that the same administration, the same communication, the same uh, personnel or HR administration that I've been doing at the university is the same one I would, I would do. But maybe I would have to up my game. Why? Because this is a larger, uh, a larger uh, level now, the county level, as opposed to the university level. So, Mr. Chairman, uh, I would have to, to, to up my game in as far as HR administration is concerned. And also, Mr. Chairman, but, but communication to from one level to another, Mr. Chairman, remains the same because it is simply communication, communicating decision made uh, from one level, maybe for implementation at another level. And what my synergy will be between the county assembly and, and my office, Mr. Chairman, will be the same synergy. The, the people working at the county assembly and, the, and myself at the, at, at the as a county secretary, Mr. Chairman will be required to work hand in hand in synergy to ensure that, for example, what is decided at the county assembly is communicated to, to, to me through the, 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 the clerk and back to the, at what is decided at, at, the, at, at the executive level again is communicated to the county assembly through the county clerk. So, Mr. Chairman, it's about working together to ensure that what we are doing in Embu County at whatever level is done synergically. The roles of the county secretary, I've, I've, I've already um, maybe wrapped on them, Mr. Chairman. I will be in charge, if appointed, of the public sector where I think to a large extent it will be to ensure that performance is not in question. Mr. Chairman, there, will be, there are many departments, many levels in Ebo County, but really it's about everybody doing what they are supposed to do and being able to deliver to the people of Ebo. Then, Mr. Chairman, I was asked, I was, uh, it was put to me that it is in public domain. Yes, it is. 
that I also applied for a national position uh, over, uh, over, over, over PS. And I was shortlisted, and I did the interview. And so somebody asked me, where is my heart? My heart is in Kenya. If I am appointed to work at, uh, at the national level, Mr. Chairman, I will, weigh the, uh, I will weigh the two. Because, Mr. Chairman, it is everybody's democratic right to want to... To, 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 get to, to, uh, to get to all these positions. And Mr. Chairman, I have already explained why I applied for a position of a CS in Embu. Embu is my home, and I would want to serve the people of Embu. But Mr. Chairman, when a more, let me put it this way, recruitive position comes up, and I think I'm qualified. I am a Kenyan. I apply. If I am successful, I will still serve the people of Embu from whichever level. Because, Mr. Chairman, I have stated that, for example, there are children I am taking to school on my own account. Whether they are from Embu, one of them, I think, one who is doing medicine at the University of Nairobi, I think she's from somewhere Vihiga. I do not even know, really. But, Mr. Chairman, I will serve Kenya, whether from Embu or from Nairobi. Maybe, Doctor, the direct question was, Yes. supposing both of them, you are appointed for both, which one would you pick and leave which? Mr. Chairman, I will take a decision at that level. But for now, uh, the direction is, I'll be happy to be appointed the CS of Embu and serve from this position. But should the other position come up, uh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will decide from that, from there. But you do, not, you, you do not count chicken that are not already in the basket. So let us put the eggs in the basket, or is it, are they chicken? In the basket, then we can count them from there. Proceed. Somebody, some, yes? Yes, thank you, Chair. Somebody asked me about the conflict of interest because I am a daughter of Embu. And, um, uh, and Mr. Chair, I do not think um, being a daughter of Embu presents any, any, any conflict. But also uh, the question went on to, to talk about my closeness to, to the governor. My closeness to the governor. So will I apply knowledge and experience and not, and not serving the governor? Mr. Chairman, I am professional. My relationship with anybody, including uh, Honorable Swale, has got nothing to do with my performance. My relationship with the governor or, or, or my, my, my real or assumed uh, closeness to the governor, Mr. Chairman, has got nothing to do with my performance. I, I, I have been in the public sector for a long time, and I am confident that I have done my duty without any, any, any interests whatsoever. So whether that uh, closeness to, to, to the governor or like I've said, Mr. Chairman, for your information, even his, Mweshimiwa uh, Swale is very close to me, and I have no business uh, serving Swale or anybody. I want to serve the people of Embu. I want to serve the people of Kenya, and I am very professional. And Mweshimiwa uh, Swale did not declare that. Uh, well, uh, uh, even Kare Kamuidi sitting at the back is very close to me. And, and, and many of you, by the way. Why? Because I, I have a big heart for people, <laughs> maybe including the chair. So let, let's go to corruption allegations in Embu. What will you do? Yes, Mr. Chair, I have had a lot of, a lot of um, talk about corruption in Embu. And Mr. Chairman, the direction that Kenya will ever take as far as corruption is concerned in Kenya, not just in Embu, has got to do with building cultures. 
and corruption is a culture. So Mr. Chairman, it is all about changing culture and culture is changed from the top. Mr. Chairman, as far as Embu is concerned, I am confident that my governor is not corrupt. Mr. Chairman, I want to put myself in the same category. So I would want to lead by example from whichever position I am placed. And Mr. Chairman, it's about saying no to corruption from the top and expecting everybody else to follow. Fortunately, therefore, Mr. Chairman, if the top is in agreement that Embu is a no corruption zone, then anybody not adhering to that position would only have themselves to blame. Somebody asked me how I would handle internship, and I was about to ask to say that I did not understand that question very well. I don't know who asked me about internship, the uh, chair. I did not note. So can I request that to be made clear? Who, who asked the question on internship? Members? Yeah, you can provide a microphone. Um, Madam Esther. Yes. Internship is the way to go for the youth of this country. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's it. I, 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 I was, I, I did not want to assume that the internship that you are talking about. Yes, you. I, I guess the honourable member is talking about the the youth that, for example, come from universities and are, are and have to be educated. Mr. Chairman, I would like. Remember, I'm also coming from a background where we send a lot of these people for internships. So Mr. Chairman, I would like to leverage on each and every institution in Embo County to see to it that as much as possible, they have space for internship. Secondly, I know that a lot of uh, students on internship have issues with sustenance because like when we said students from Jomo Kenyatta or whichever other place, and I found some in Karurumo, okay? And I, I actually was not happy. I intend to leverage on supporting institutions, including the, the county assembly. Maybe if they could have a little, a little money or even the governor's office, which we can set aside, and be able to be of support to these students on internship after checking or ensuring that almost every, if not every department that we have in Embu County has got enough room for internship, and then be able to leverage on willing institutions to be able to have a bit of, a bit of, of sponsorship support system for the students on internship. Because like the ones I found in Karurumo, I wasn't happy about them. Actually, we, we, we had to do something about it. So yes, that's an issue of good concern. And I would like to, to speak to as many departments as possible to be of, of, of support, including banks of the students on internship. Mr. Chairman, somebody was concerned about EMBU revenue, which the bad co collection, leakages, and what I will advise the governor. <laughs> what I've already been doing, Mr. Chairman, is actually parking my car right in the center of, of, of EMBU and waiting to be charged. And I have one or two people who asked me for money, 50 shillings, and I will actually give them. And before you have her gone, I have taken your photo. And then I will also call you back, ask you to give me back my 50 shillings and give me the, before it was a machine. I don't know what they are called. Mr. Chairman, as much as possible, we should all um, rally together to ensure that these kind of uh, leakages do not occur. Mr. Chairman, I am also actively aware that 
quite a number of people because these 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 askaris and people who collect there are people who are who live with, within us and they tell us when i collect this money so much money i have to take it to 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 to, to zangi in the evening not this zangi so mr chairman we also have to be proactive in being able to address some of these things actively and you know when some of these people, because there, there are people who are even wearing a suit and a tie like me and you. And when they know that we actively now know what they are doing and what they are up to, then maybe tomorrow they think twice. So without, without too much harassment on their personalities, we can be able to, we can afford to, 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 to apply quite a number of strategies to ensure that these leakages come to an end because we all need these monies in Embo County. And, I, and I, I will and I have also advised the governor that this is what is happening. These people are not using pay bill. The person who is put at the head of the collecting the revenue is not doing it effectively. And at one point, uh, her office has been able to make uh, the needed changes. The wage bill is bloated uh, and the workers inherited are, I know the wage, yes, I'm aware that the wage bill is bloated. Um, Mr. Chairman, I may also not have declared that I have sat in the governor's task force where we have also been able to interrogate the, 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 the workforce and the, and the bloated um, uh, wage bills, where, Mr. Chairman, we have noted um, double or triple payments, uh, where we have noted uh, ghost workers. So that information I am privy to, Mr. Chairman. And as late as yesterday, we had a group of five, six persons from DPM who are now uh, going to help Embu County come up with a rational workforce in Embu with placements where skills are, are, are needed so that, Mr. Chairman, at the end of that rationalization, we will be able to have good delivery of services because skills will be where they are needed, numbers will be where they are needed, and Mr. Chairman, we will have the ghost workers and the double payments as a thing of the past. So Mr. Chairman, that is something that I'm already taking part in, uh, uh, leveraging on the expertise of DPM to be able to have a workforce that is well rationalized. Unemployment. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that is, um, let me not say that I will be, I am an expert at, at, at handling that, but either way, a lot of our, our, our young people are, properly, are probably unemployed because they do not, they, 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 they have a, a wrong, they have wrong work ethics. Where a lot of our young people believe that all of us must be in, in, in white collar jobs. And Mr. Chairman, my contention, all, all my, 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 my contribution has always been, a lot of us can be able to do something if, we are willing to do it. I have, I have told this committee that I am a farmer, and we have a lot of problems. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I think I pay them money that they can call money. But getting them to work is a big problem. So I think my, my approach would be changing the mindset of our young people. I have one of the things that really bother me also about this county is this dirt that we see all over. 
one time I told two young people to collect rubbish from uh, from Isaac Walton all the way up beyond Java and all that. And they, they didn't even do it for three days. So is it that there is no work to do, therefore unemployment, or is it that we have wrong mindsets? So, Mr. Chairman, I think uh, in as, when we say that we are going to undertake a lot of education on NHIF um, and, and other educations, at the same time, I think we also need to educate our youth that even trees in the forest that were planted on the same day are not of the same size. And I, I tell people, Mr. Chairman, that you don't have to, own, to have a PhD like myself to be able to make a livelihood. No. So we, we, we all have, have different levels. And if everybody agreed to, 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 to really perform at their levels, I think we would be talking about less unemployment. You'll find a lot of people idling sitting down here. Let's try to tell them to follow you and you show them some work they can do. They'll not agree. So, Mr. Chairman, this wrong notion that employment is where me and you are, we must also try to work on those mindsets because poverty starts from the mind. Then, Mr. Chairman, uh, policy to ensure efficient service delivery. Yes, Mr. Chairman, that is, uh, those are uh, documents, maybe, uh, and, and other things that my office, together with others, working to, in collaboration with others, will have to come up with. And again, Mr. Chairman, I think we will leverage on the people that like, like that I'm saying we already have them to ensure that we come up with 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 um, with documentations that will ensure that people work as they should be and this and a lot of evaluation will, would have to be done to ensure that uh, work is being done and mr. chairman there was a question about my ID and one of my certificates and and, and others. Mr. Chairman, my ID is Esther Kavango because that is my father's name. And when we registered to be given IDs, for some reason, that office left out my middle name, which is Lara. So they gave me an ID which was just Esther Kavango. At that time, because we were still in Kangaroo School, you didn't even have known where to follow up to ask them, why have you left my name? So I've lived with my ID as Esther Kavango since I was in school. And then I think you said one is Esther T. Kavango. T is Zara, and Zara is my name. So at one point, I must have written it uh, somewhere when I was still Kavango. Then I became Esther Zara Moria. Mr. Chairman Moria is my husband. And the reason I have the two documents with different names is because that time, I think now it has changed. Passports were, were we, you, the family, it was a family uh, file at the, at, at, uh, where, at the immigration. So it is my husband who picked my passport. So he wrote that name because the, orig, the, the, na the surname in that file was Moria. So that is, and my ID was not needed. So that is how I ended up with my passport with a different name from the ID because it was from my husband's file. Okay? I did not go to pick my passport for myself. It's a family file. So that's how I have different names. And let, I know that, that question was asked later, but I do not know how that, that, uh, that um, Avidavit is not signed. And I think, Karo, if you bring me the other folder, I think I have another one which is signed. I think I, I put that one which is not signed. But I have one which is signed. That one I do. You address the chair, not any of the staff. Sorry, chair. My apologies. Yes, so chair, if you allow me, I could be, be brought a copy that is signed. I think it is somewhere. Yeah, if you know where it is, you could bring it. 
Caro. Okay. Then, Mr. Chair, also, if you allow, I could check where the, the, the police clearance, uh, which is more recent, is. Sorry, Mr. Chair, if I attach to one. That is not correct. No, I corrected that. Okay. The secretary okay. letter. So what was not there is the original, but a, a copy of the most it, recent is, is available in your file. Yes, Mr. Chair, if you could also allow me, because they said those things online now. So if you allow me, I could pass this phone where the ori all the originals are, if you allow. Fine. Okay. Okay, can I continue as that is done? Proceed, proceed. Then, Mr. Chairman, somebody. Uh, there are several here. Yes. Maybe we'll give you a number that you can forward to. Okay. So that uh, we can check later. Okay. That's okay, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Then, s somebody averred that my beneficiaries are girls. Sorry, I did not disclose the gender of my beneficiaries. The two children at Mogoe Day Primary School, one is a boy, the other one is a girl. The two students at Jomo Kenyatta University, one is a boy, one is a girl. So, Mr. Chairman, I do not have a, a, a bias for girls. And actually, Mr. Chairman, Two of my beneficiaries have already graduated, one from Moy University, the other one from Chuka University. Those are boys. Okay, then the different entries, uh, somebody uh, counted my declaration to 225 and not 218. Maybe, Mr. Chairman, I could... Uh, I could have have made a mistake in tutoring. Maybe it's just a matter of direction. Yes. You will do a write up okay. written on of course enumerating all of them, each one of your okay. assets and whatever. To submit later? Yes, the soonest possible because you're the last person that uh, we are vetting actually you are the only person this committee is vetting yes and immediately we are done with you we'll embark on the report writing okay yes yes i'll, I'll enumerate it mr chairman thank you what i intend to achieve as if appointed a cs in the next five years mr chairman like we already said my work will be to head uh, the public service mr chairman I would hope to have a public service that is performing, that is delivering to the people of Embu. I would want to see a public service that is uh, rationalized so that if according to DPM, we need 15 consultants in Embu Level 5 Hospital, that is what we have and they are working. So Mr. Chairman, uh, and I would want to see a very cordial relationship between my office, the county assembly, and any other body, the, 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 any other body that I'll be working with, I would like to see a very, very cordial relationship. Mr. Chairman, let me say that for the last about seven to eight years that I've been the Registrar Academic Affairs, there was never a strike at Jamo Kenyatta University. And that is because I leveraged on the goodwill of all people working around the university. And Mr. Chairman, when you see lecturers or, or students striking, it's because there is a lot of disquiet between the different people working in different sectors within the university. But when you are able to leverage on everybody, when you are able to have everybody speaking the same language as much as possible, because 
some people are just that that dengue that never never cooks in a pot and there isn't too much you can do about it so we will have the nemakovias even as we move on but as much as possible if we can have the majority of the dengues covering then mr chairman that would be my joy in embu county uh, Dr. This committee is a formal committee of the county assembly, and there are only three languages allowed, unless you quote and explain. The, 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 you can only use English, Swahili, or sign language. Or sign language? Yes, so kindly. My uh, apologies, Mr. Chairman. Then, publications, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Chairman, sorry, I, I, I also thought I had printed my publications. I, I don't know what I did with them, but I, was, I submit the publications as soon as immediate. The five or seven publications, I will submit them. Sorry about that. About the policies, my, about the publications, again, Mr. Chairman, and mentioned together with the policies, what I meant is that I have been part and parcel of quite a number of policies published and stored with the university. So because my name appears on those policies, that's why I mentioned them, but they are stored, of course, with the university. Yes, Mr. Chairman, that's what I meant by bringing in policies where publications are, are mentioned. I hope that is clear. Okay. Um, the, the awards that uh, I did not mention, and therefore, Mr. Chairman, you said I will, you, you have heard, sorry, you have heard that I was lying on oath, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Sorry about that. You know when you see yourself being asked about awards in a document like this one, you think it is those presidential awards where you end up being called CBS or something. So these awards where I was awarded the best performing this, I didn't think about them. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Chairman. I, I, I did not. I thought about those big awards, not you know, the 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 church ones. You know, I, I, I did not think about those awards. So I, I, I want to put it clearly that I'm not lying on oath. It's just that maybe I underestimated those awards. Yes, Mr. Chairman, unless there is something I have skipped, I think those were the questions that I was asked. So, Honorable Members, I have seen uh, Honorable Moshangi's hand and Honorable Agnes. Maybe you could start with the number of Agnes on gender uh, so that uh, we are also respectful to the gender issue. Then Honorable Musangi. Thank you, Chair. Um, kindly, Madam Moria. I asked about the wage bill. Now I want to put it further. Embu County inherited TAF from the municipal council. That was not necessarily in order of merit. You find that a driver who had been employed before devolution is earning more than the driver who is employed now. Madam Moria, using the SRC guidelines, how are you going to tackle that one? The other question. Given a chance that you're going to be the head of the public service, you are going to be dealing with 10 serious dockets. And I take it that you're the advisor of the governor. How are you going to advise the governor matters performance of every CC. How are you going to measure? Because we have seen in the past the, the former governors employing CCs and they bring the governor down. 
are you going to revise their terms or what are you going to do about it? Sorry. Madam Warrior, I've seen the passion that you have been taking in Kiambu County. I've seen you doing many things in Kiambu County in your resume, giving back to the people of Kiambu County. Now you are a daughter of Embu, site three. Three ways, apart from education, that you have given back to the people of Embu County. Thank you. Anabo Mosangi, Joke. Yeah, Dr. Uh, <clears throat> my concern first is on uh, you seem not to have worked in Embu at whatever point or any other engagement in Embu. So now, how well versed are you with Embu County in all matters, considering that you will be the coordinator of all activities around county government of Embu? On the same note, there's an element of oversight from the county assembly. And when we were asking about the relationship on the synergy between executive and county assembly, that is one paramount aspect of relationship, whereby there's oversight. And you know oversight is not a position. How well will you coordinate all other departments to adhere to oversight, policies and regulations, summons and the information from the county assembly. And lastly, is an issue around health, which is your priority. As a coordinator of government, county government of Ember Affairs and advisor to the governor. We have incomplete infrastructure in Embu County. That is money sunk, public money sunk in white elephant infrastructural development projects. How are you going to prioritize health with a pending bill of around two to three billion yet to be uh, managed and a revenue gap with a focus of around 1 billion yet to collect around 300 million, how will you balance and support other departments to realize either the forecast or reduce their commitments for this financial year to ensure that we have a complete balanced budget? Thank you. Number Daniel, anything? Okay, you could respond to those issues, and then there's one that you did not respond to, uh, bullet number 24 on your questionnaire about your income. You did not mention to us whether it is per annum or per month. The salary, the research, the rental, remember that. So you've not told us whether that 500,000 is earned annually or is it monthly? And maybe we could allow Honorable Susan to ask so that you can take everything and respond at the same time. This is a general question that uh, I have interest. Um, how will you help the governor to realize the president's agenda to counties into achieving or contributing to planting a million trees per county per year. You okay? Proceed. Okay, Mr. Chairman, which bill uh, the staff inherited from the municipal council and not pleased that they should be. And I'm glad the honorable member referred to the SRC guidelines. Mr. Chairman, let me put it straight that 
sins inherited need to be corrected, but they need to be corrected carefully. Because some of the people I am actively aware placed at certain levels where they shouldn't be. It is also, I think, unregulatory to be um, to be paying somebody a certain level and then maybe reduce it or things like that. Mr. Chairman, I would have to highly consult on some of the rules and regulations guiding that because there is where the SRC has placed all of us. And that is where all of us should be in accordance to a number of parameters like education, like length of performance, uh, how long you have been on duty, like education levels, etc., etc. So, Mr. Chairman, that would have to be in, in, in rationalizing this stuff, that would be highly consultative, and my office would be ready and, 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 and willing to consult right from the level of SRC, the, the HR bodies within the county, so that we see how to rationalize that. Mr. Chairman, remember, I've already stated also that we have already, as, as, the, as the task force, by the way, we, have, we are already speaking to DPM so that they can be able to help us to rationalize a lot of these things. So it, that doesn't mean that that will end because this, is, this currently is at health. That, this does not mean that this will end there. But Mr. Chairman, we can continue in this cons these consultations so that we can be able to see uh, what we will be able to do with a lot of this HR within our county. And Mr. Chairman, I'm also aware that there is, there, there is a lot of um, certain cadre of staff that is lying within Embu County doing, not doing much, and yet there's a lot of rubbish to be collected or dealt with within the county. So uh, there's a lot of rationalization of HR to be done in Embu County that I actively agree, and there will be a lot of consultation to be done, whether it is about what was inherited from uh, the, 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 former, the former institutions, or it is what has been brought in by, by I think, the, the, the former regime, Mr. Chairman, there is a lot of rationalization to be done. And I cannot, I cannot claim to be able to do that uh, as an office by, by myself, just my office, because it's also a very emotive issue. So that will require a lot of consultation, Mr. Chairman, and my office will be willing and ready to do a lot of consultation, right from the national to the county levels. Mr. Chairman, uh, there is also the issue of the 10 dockets. I think it's the 10 CCs. And uh, I'll be the advisor to the governor, and I'll, I'll be able performance contracting is, 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 is a must. From the, 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 the governor's pronouncement, the, uh, what she says she wants to do, right from agriculture to health to sports, to sports, all those, Mr. Chairman. I think it's a question of looking at each and every one of them, see where we must go, and be able to draw performance requirements for each and every one of those CECs. And remember, Mr. Chairman, I'm actively aware also that my, my office, in consultation with those 10 dockets and the office of the governor, will organize meetings. Some of these meetings, Mr. Chairman, I would like to, 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 to want to see them address the levels of performance from, so we would want them to have the, their, 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 their performance pronouncement from, um, I'm, I'm forgetting the word that I want to use. So that from time to time we'll be able to ask, for example, the CEC agriculture. We said that we will want to see 
this done as per the agri. We will want to see a fruit processing plant done, maybe in three years. So where are you with this? If it has not been done, what is happening? What is not happening? Health. We said that we would want to see level five with rationalized uh, consultants, with rationalized number of nurses, etc., etc. Where are we with this? So, Mr. Chairman, considering that my office is allowed to come up with schedule of meetings, some of which will be to check the, the to, to check where we are with what we committed to do. I don't think, Mr. Chairman, that is impossible to achieve. Even if it is the 10 uh, dockets, we will be able to sit in a round table like this, and each and every one of us would be able to say, as far as this is concerned, this is where I am. These are the challenges. This is what I would request uh, the, 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 the government, to, the county government to help you do. So, Mr. Chairman, coordinating the 10 dockets may not be too much of a tall order. Yes, Mr. Chairman, the performance of the 10 dockets would have to be revised and looked into and not just assume that work will be done. Checks and balances may have to be applied, Mr. Chairman. Three ways in which I'm going to give back to the people of EMBU other than, <laughs> other than education. Mr. Chairman, I just mentioned education because that is easy to measure. I mean, you can go to Kiani girls and ask for the two girls that I am taking to school. But as, as at yesterday, I can show you like the bill I paid for, 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 for somebody who was brought from somewhere and, and, the, and the head had been cut I don't know how many times. So, Mr. Chairman, I, I, and I was just discussing with, with, with one member not too long time ago about how, how, what we are doing about the women who, who, who want to go to maternity. I don't know what is not available, a lot of things. So, Mr. Chairman, health is also very pertinent to me. And I've been able to, do, to pay a lot of bills for people who... who who need um, who need health, and Mr. Chairman, I oh this is also easy to measure that I have built uh, houses. They may not be very nice houses for old ladies who have just been abandoned in the in the village. The, the, the rain is raining on them. The mabatis got rotted a long time ago. And Mr. Chairman, I've been able to, 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 to make better the residences of a number of, of especially old people uh, around the village, my village, and around, and, uh, and, and one of them is from the village where my mother came from. That is around Kadanjuri. So my, 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 my inter intervention is just not just that in, in education, it is, any area that really uh, requires intervention. Mr. Chairman, I cannot even count the number of churches that I have uh, helped to build. I have not worked in Embu, yes, and therefore somebody uh, uh, may think that I am not well versed with Embu. I am not a stranger to Embu, not at all. My interest over the years has remained embu and that is why i am saying that i have had there there, there are very many there are very few places in embu maybe the, the very very lower part of embu that might be not i might not be very familiar with but mr chairman I remember my i was born and brought up in ronyanges i am married in manyata so I, I am not a stranger to Embu, and I do not think I really need to have worked here to be familiar with Embu, but I have monumental interest in Embu, so I am not a stranger. 
oversight uh, oh. I think I've already said about oversight uh, oversight from county assembly to adhere to county assembly directives yes mr. chairman I th that is not very clear in my mind but let me attempt to answer it uh, by saying that I think mine would be as much as possible to uh, to encourage everyone to to to, uh, to 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 really do what they're supposed to do. Maybe, Mr. Chairman, everybody should be able to really do uh, achieve what they're supposed to achieve. Whether it is about the county assembly, if it is any requirement from the county assembly, requirement from the governor, require, everybody should be able to perform. And so, Mr. Chairman, I do not even think. I I have any 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 fight or I would have any quarrels with oversighting from the county assembly. As long as that is what is supposed to be coming from the county assembly and the the executive is supposed to is supposed to adhere to it, then Mr. Chairman we should be able whether the, the, the registration of the executive we should be able to work together. Uh, for the common good of our county. Incomplete infrastructure, lots of white elephants, Mr. Chairman, I have seen them. And somebody wanted to know how I will prioritize health, uh, yet the collections are... Mr. Chairman, yes, I have seen lots and lots of white elephants across the county. Uh, especially within the health dockets. We went to some health um, centers where a maternity was built a long time ago. Was never The infrastructure was never put in. Some of it was never finished. And Mr. Chairman, I think this I would borrow from the governor herself because I've had her even plead with the, with the assembly members that let us priority a certain a prioritize a certain area if it is a maternity ward that was never completed in a certain area let's first finish what was already started before starting new uh, new new structures or, or, or starting something new first I would encourage everybody within the county that let us first finish what was not what was what was started before we can start new projects, okay? And I think I'd also be on the forefront of requesting the county assembly. I, I, I have not read their rules and regulations very well, but asking them to, to agree that we do not also uh, rush into, into allocating finances to new projects when we have old ones. As much as possible, let's finish what is already existing because finances will never be enough. But on the other hand, about the less collections, no, we have a lot of money in Embu County. There is a lot we can collect. There is a lot we can do if we made up our minds to do the right things. That is one. Two. Um, we can leverage on a lot of um, a lot of willing uh, partners to be able to do a lot. Yesterday, I was in 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 in, in Moya with 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 the this irrigation um, body called Na Na Narik, and the other day we were we were in one of the their projects with the World Bank people. And you can see that that they, they are doing a lot to provide water, both for drinking and for irrigation in Embu County. So, Mr. Chairman, if we, I, I come from a background where we have been able to write winning uh, proposals. And if we can apply that in Embu County, write proposals to the willing uh, uh, partners, and they are, they'll be able to, to, come up, to come up with support for us, we will be able to do a lot for Embu County. Uh, without waiting for necessarily waiting for government funding, Mr. Chairman, uh, I I, um, I I saw the experts in JQUAT doing a very good 
fruit processing plant at Makueni. And Mr. Chairman, we can leverage on some of those, uh, those entities that we, we, we are aware of to be able to, to come on board and help us come up with some of those structures. I had the governor also talk about uh, some, some Chinese who would bring a, a macadamia uh, buying and processing plant in Embu. So we, we would be, number one, we, we, we up the, our game in as far as correcting, collection of revenue is concerned, leverage on the willing partners, Mr. Chairman, and then be able to bring back those partners who were supposed to be working with us, but for one reason or the other, may not be doing that. And we'll be able to make headways in Embo County. Planting of trees. Mr. Chairman, that is also one thing that is, 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 is very exciting to me. And yes, we can plant many. One of the ways we can have uh, uh, trees to plant is, in my opinion, is leverage on women, women groups to come up with, tree, with nurseries for the trees to be planted in Embu County. And then the county will buy those trees from those women groups and men groups. If men also want to come up with groups, that is okay. We buy the, those trees and plant them within Embu. So that would be one of the ways I, I would want to ha work with the CEC in charge to leverage on the groups to plan to come up with nurseries to be able to have these uh, seedlings to plant in Embu County. Number two, Mr. Chairman, I also come from a background where we have technology to uh, come up with 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 um, with trees and seedlings that are environment friendly. For example, the, the climate in the North Embu is not the same as the South. And Mr. Chairman, it would, it would not be too difficult to be able to know what trees we can plant on the South as opposed to the North, so that we have the right trees growing in the right places and being able to survive in accordance with the environment of the various places. And Mr. Chairman, leverage on schools. Make an, an embu plant day, tree planting day for everybody, right from the governor. Borrow from President Kagame of, 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 of Rwanda. The day of cleaning in Rwanda is for everybody, from Kagame, his wife, and, and his children, and all of us. So we can do the same with Embu County, where it is a tree planting day, and everybody is in gumboots, and we go to plant trees, Mr. Chairman. And that way, if we did that for every, every quarter, for a few years, we would have enough trees in Embu County. And that I would be willing to be on the governor's side any time. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Daktari. Uh, I want you to respond to two more. Briefly, very briefly. You don't have to give a lot of detail. Um, you are in charge of, in case you are appointed, you'll be in charge of public service. And that public service is uh, employed is actually employed by the county public service board how do you intend to relate with the county public service which is body corporate it's a body corporate but in charge of staffing you will be in charge of the staff they employ let me say something about them bearing in mind the allegations against the current chairman and the secretary of nepotism in that it is alleged and this committee will investigate further that they employed their own children 
um, so how will you relate with them Embu county is actually a county that houses uh, several communities um, how will you ensure that these communities in terms of employment they feel part of Embu County I'll give an example of some employment that was done was it last year or something or this year the ECD teachers there's some areas that up to now they do not know whether there was employment done in Embu County so how will you balance uh, that how will you ensure that the county service board does all that and finally maybe you have answered this in your in your presentations in different various ways of presenting but i just want a straight on statement what are the main challenges you expect as a head of public service and how do you intend to address such then after that i'll 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 give you final direction then we we, we go Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, the Public Service Board uh, is the employing body. That, that's what you st stated. Yet, I will be in charge of the staff that they employ. Uh, Mr. Chairman, like I've already said in my presentation, I think I have widely said that all these bodies whether public service board or my my office or any other or the or their county assembly are constitutional offices. So everybody is doing their work. When they employ staff as they should as they should, and the staff maybe is now relegated to me for maybe supervision for lack of a better word. Mr Chairman it is up to all of us to respect our different levels and to know that the Public Service Board employed that staff because that is what they are supposed to do and that is their work. And Mr. Chairman, when then they come to me, it is up to them to know that this is the office now, that is the oversight office. That is the there is the appointment body and there is the, the oversight office. And Mr. Chairman, it should be very clear to everybody that everybody should respect the institutions as placed. Then about nepotism and employment of their children, Mr. Chairman, if, 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 if that is already done, maybe like I, like I, I said earlier, it will be up to maybe even all of us, the executive, my office, and 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 even the 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 board, the employing board, to be able to have a sitting and look at some of these things. Again, Mr. Chairman, that is an an emotive area where maybe uh, the 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 body might claim that like that this is not nepotism and mr chairman therefore this might even um maybe turns towards investigative and if whoever is found culpable in the in the in the process may have to answer because that is contrary or against uh cap six and 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 and, and other regulations so mr chairman it is up to whoever is responsible should that become the direction to answer as need may be. 
Um, Mr. Chairman, you asked you, you, the, that EMBU has several communities. Oh, I address committees. Communities. And how will you ensure they feel part and parcel? Mr. Chairman, that, that is uh, not negotiable. Like I said, I am, I believe, a professional. And my professionalism has got nothing, again, as the Constitution di dictates. Uh, I think it is chapter six and chapter and and article two seventy seventy five. I am aware the, the the legal office is sitting here in case I make a mistake. That that requires one to be uh, professional enough as not to serve any party uh, in in regard to gender, in regard to sex, in race, tribe. And Mr. Chairman, I've already said that I am professional enough and I have worked in, in areas where, like in my past engagement, or let me call it current because I've not uh, left yet, I, where I have students from across the country, actually international, across the world. And Mr. Chairman, I am, I, 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 I am confident nobody has been forwarded to graduate without having pragmatically qualified from whichever whatever area. So Embo County will not be an exception. ECD teachers, they do not know there was employment. <laughs> I think Mr. Chairman, there have been a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of things that did not make sense. And I do not know what encouraged a lot of these things to be done so, so, so poorly for, 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 for lack of, I don't, I don't know what, what encouraged this, but I said at the beginning, Mr. Chairman, that some of these cultures need to be changed. And so that we are, we are working in the public the way we should work in the public. Some of those mistakes may have been done. Maybe it is deponed uh, upon the new government as much as possible to try and change some of these things, however difficult it uh, might finally be. The challenges I, 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 I envisage will be one, like somebody has already put it, a bloated workforce, a workforce that is not uh, rationalized. Mr. Chairman, I, I, I am foreseeing a workforce that doesn't have proper work ethics, a workforce that Pragmatic achievement is not a thing that might be known to them. Mr. Chairman, of course, there will be financial challenges. Uh, and, and, and a lot of work, a lot of things that need to be brought back to order. Those are some of the challenges I am foreseeing. But I will also be in a hurry to say that I do not think they are insurmountable. Thank you. So, members, allow me to now uh, congratulate uh, the nominee as I ask you to provide the following the copies of publications like you promised to do, the signed affidavit, because the one we have here is not ad admissible to the committee, the one that is not signed by you. You said you have a copy that is signed. Uh, then the original copies of the police, I think that one we have, you've received from your phone. He, you sent it to his phone, those original, the, the police clearance and uh, CRB. Maybe for cross-referencing, so that we see whether what you have provided is what is there. Then there is uh, your assets and liabilities, your net worth, well written. Uh, and kindly, we are embarking immediately 
for report writing. Therefore, I ask with the committee clerk, Mr. Stephen Zioka, uh, the office of the clerk, right, from the office of the clerk, so that you get to know how soon and where and how to deliver uh, those uh, documents. Uh, in the event that uh, it happens that you are appointed, make Embu a better place. If the governor will appoint you, if the committee will approve you, if the house, because ours will do a report and then the house will, the county assembly in the entirety, will then uh, decide whether to approve or not. So in the event you are approved and the governor appoints you, I would wish that you make the staff of Embu feel they are working for a government. They are demotivated, totally demotivated. Money that is deducted from their pay slips, meant for the bank, for their loans, is never remitted. Money deducted from their pay slips for NHIF is never remitted. So in the event that you are appointed, you're going to find a totally demotivated staff. I am just saying this so that uh, in case you feel it's too much, you change as earlier <laughs> than <laughs> when you get it. <laughs> because again, that is the reality. That's the reality. So we wish you well. And unless you have a final submission to the committee, we can allow you some one minute. If you have anything to say to the committee, then we can release you to go. And number one is, uh, of course, the publications. Yes. Then there is the signed affidavit, the original copies of the police clearance in CRB, then your net worth. Hmm. Tabulation, eh? Kindly. Then you will get in touch with him. Yes. Okay, Mr. Chairman, let me uh, thank this committee most sincerely under your chairmanship for the opportunity granted to have a chat with you because I believe this also gives us an opportunity to know one another better. So for me, I'm grateful to, 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 to be able to engage with one another. And Mr. Chairman, I believe together we can make things a lot better for our people. And like I said earlier, I am um, ready and willing. And when we are able to sit and discuss things together, I believe we can do things better. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for listening to me. And I wish you uh, God's blessings and a beautiful evening. Thank you. So ensure, make sure that all your certificates are there, including your ID. Kindly. Everything is there. So you are at liberty to go. I wish you all the best.